Welcome to PAX Unplugged 2019, and I'm here with Chris Birch. Hi. And you are? Uh, I'm the founder and publisher of Medifius. Yeah. So, um, first things first real fast, I love your Star Trek games. Thank you. Uh, when I heard you doing Fallout, um, I was very excited. I was very cur I was curious to see what you're going to do with it. Yeah. Uh, so, but you have so much to show here. Uh, can you guide yeah. us through and see and let us know what you have? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing actually how much we have when we put it all out and uh, go, we haven't got enough space. It's, it's kind of grown in the last uh, year since it came out. So we've got obviously the, the main miniatures game. It's a skirmish game, uh, which you play five to ten miniatures a side. Uh, you can play versus game, but it really comes into its own when you play co-op and solo games. Uh, you and me can team up with our survivors and Brotherhood of Steel and pull all our raiders and super mutants and fight against them. And they're, they're really tough. They go after the objective. So if you're not quick on the ball, you're going to miss out because they're going to race ahead of you. So it's very, very clever AI system. Um, and we've got like all the main factions. We've got Super Mutants, Brotherhood of Steel, the Survivors, which is obviously lots of well-known characters. Um, we've got the Raiders. We just launched the Institute today online um, and in the stores and the Enclave are coming in the spring next year. And loads more uh, cool stuff next year. And you can also play robots. Uh, and creatures, there's creature controllers coming. You've got people like the Mechanist coming, um, and the new um, there's a new card deck called the Automatron card deck, which lets you build your own robots from parts. So you can mix and match, you know, movement uh, like uh, tracks or uh, legs and bodies and weapons and heads. So it's great fun. So anyone that's interested in checking out Fallout, yeah. what would you recommend them trying out first? Well, I mean, the base set is really good value. It's got 20 missions in size. It's got five tutorial missions, five AI missions, five linked campaign missions, and five battle mode missions. So there's a lot of replayability. Yeah, there is. And it's got um, 13 miniatures in, because you get the bonus aliens eaten, you've got a death claw, you've got a couple of super mutant hounds, you've got three super mutants, you've got a power armor, you've got the soul survivor, Nora. Uh, you've got uh, three survivors, so you've got a, a lot of choice. Uh, and I've been playing a little um, kind of solo wasteland adventure, just using the contents of that box to start with. And then I added in our Red Rocket Scenic set. So I'm just kind of showing how you can get so much more out of the box set. But I mean, that's like plenty to start with. It's you don't don't think, oh my god, I have to buy everything. You know, it's uh, it's it's uh, you know just gradually you know, build up as you go. There's so much to download on our website, like extra co-op guidance, solo rules, I think about 30 scenarios now, and the, the community are generating their own too, so. And what would you say so far has been your favorite moment when you've been playing this game? Do you have any funny stories or very interesting moments? Well, yeah, actually, well, it's in my streaming, uh, so this streaming game I've done where I, I did a, um, uh, well, it's a video, and. <laughs> So I had Nora wake up in, the, in a vault without anything, no weapons. She's not, we have the game, in the game you're heroic, which gives you extra powers. So she's not even heroic yet. So she's literally the worst possible version of the character. And she's being followed by the aliens eaten, and she gets out into the wasteland, and, and then she finds um, the Red Rocket Diner, which I've kind of built from our Red Rocket set, because it's all clipped together by this company, Battle Systems. And um, one of the first random monsters she comes across is uh, Dogmeat, of course. And just like in the story, she manages to make friends, and uh, so then suddenly Dogmeat's on her side. So there's some, there's some great moments, and it, it really is designed as a narrative game. It's not, um, you know, if you want your, your tournament game, yeah, you can play that with this, absolutely, um, because there's the very basic stripped-down battle mode game. But if you want to tell a story on the battlefield, if you want to see cool stuff happen straight out of the video game, if you want to um, play co-op, if you want to um, just see where the story takes you, this, this game is designed for that. And also like our Elder Scrolls games coming, uh, is building on this sort of co-op solo narrative war game. We're calling it Adventure War Games. Um, and we just launched Rangers of Shadow Deep this week, which is jo Joseph McCulloch's, um, who wrote Frostgrave, uh, his, solo co-op um, uh, war game as well. So we're, we're really trying to stake our claim on this space and go, we're, we're trying to do new stuff with miniature games. For those of you who, um, you know, maybe you can't meet up with your war game buddies all the time, but you've got an hour to play on your own so you can play the next bit of your mission. Um, or when you can meet up, 
it's not about fighting each other and trying to win. Now it's like, what story can we tell together and see what happens to our crew, our settlement? Can we build it up? Uh, and so on. And, and of course, now we've added the role playing game in. There's a role playing expansion for Fallout Waste and Warfare, which uses the base game rules, uh, builds on it. So you've got character archetypes you can expand with a character sheet. Um, you can play, um, you know, you'd say typically one every three scenes would be a miniatures game. Uh, but you don't have to, you can just use normal mind's eye uh, role playing. And um, it, it's a really great expansion that, I mean, you can even just play it on its own. You don't, you don't need the base game, you can just get the dice and download the cards. And then next year, we've got the full blown 2D20 version, which is complete character creation from scratch um, and much more detailed uh, gameplay as well. That, that sounds exciting. I can't imagine if you're not a Fallout fan that, that you don't want to check this out. Yeah, I mean, even if you just like just cool miniatures and painting them, you've, the range is, I mean, I think spectacular. The guy, our team has done a really amazing job. Beautiful miniatures, beautiful production. Uh, they're really excellent likenesses of the characters. Um, I mean, as, as our first proper miniatures game, I'm really proud of the fact that we've done, you know, the, the quality is really high. So I think, you know, if you like Fallout and you just want some Brotherhood of Steel power armor, then you can, you know, and it's, uh, you'll get what you want. So yes, if, if you love the Star Trek games, like I love the Star Trek games, mm -hmm. if you love Fallout, um, definitely keep checking them out. Where can people find more information about these products? Uh, go to modifius.net. Awesome. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you.